when you get your replacement sensor, the process is just going to go in reverse. So when adding a replacement temperature humidity module, you'll take the two sheet metal screws, place the sensor over the bosses for the screws, put them in. Take careful note that there is another boss to hold the cable tied. It's secure and gives some strain relief. Make sure you orient the sensor in a way that you have access to that. We should have one more sheet metal screw for the cable. Strain relief. There we go. The cable, although the sensor is mounted on a pl couple plates down, this is a good, good point too. See how these two plates are stuck close together? That's not the way it's positioned. These standoffs mount on top of each other and stack like that and give you the spacing between the plates. That's important when you're going to thread the screws back through in order to find the holes all the way through. You're going to want to stack these properly on each other. So you can see this will go right underneath this one here. This is the topmost plate. The cable is going to come up and out between the first and second plate on the top. Now I seem to have it aligned. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put my bolts through. Lock washer first, washer second bolt through the hole. There's a few holes on the rain collector base. Pay attention to where these came from when you removed it. There's three. They're going to form a triangle and go through these plain holes right there. And lifting the stack of plates up, careful to hold them in their assembled stacked position. I want to be able to find the holes. I'm going to slide this up on the bolts. Pay attention to where your cable is coming out. You're going to want to route it back in through the back of the sheltered door. So be sure to orient the uh, radiation shield in a way that that can be done. So I'm going to slide the three screws through here. And they tell me this takes three hands. So we'll see how this goes. I've got it up, push some of the screw heads up. It may take a couple people to get this done and get the screws aligned through all the holes before you screw them in. Obviously if you've got the Phillips head sc screws, you'll want to use a Phillips screwdriver. Don't over tighten them. We're screwing it into plastic, so if you over tighten it too much, you could warp or potentially break the plastic. But tighten them up enough that it's secure, stable, and doesn't vibrate and isn't loose. There we go. To finalize the replacement, you're going to take the temperature humidity cable, thread it back through the hole in the shelter door in the back of the shelter, not in the shelter door back of the shelter. Notice there's a, a large portion of the cable port, cable hole, and there's a small portion. It's easiest to only thread it through the large. And plug this back into the temperature humidity port. A lot of play here. I'm going to have some of this cable coming out. And this has actually some, some relevance. You want this cable to loop around the bottom uh, in a way so that water will not drip down the cable and into the shelter on the electronic PC board in there, the module we just replaced. So if this cable has a downward loop before it goes up and through one of the plates, it's more difficult for water to climb up the cable and drip down in. So take that little bit of that slack cable, pull it out so that we get a loop. Last thing, we're going to insert the foam, push the cable as far to the side as I can, Push the foam in with your fingers. You might, use a, you might use a tool to get it in. 
It's tight on purpose. You want to eliminate water splash when it's raining. And that's it. We're going to put the shelter door back on. Make sure you have your battery. Make sure the green light's not flashing. The fourth dip switch is down, so we're not keeping that green light on. Attaching the solar panel and sliding the door back on. When you slide the door back on, there's a mark on the side of the door here that matches up with a similar raised mark on the shelter. If you align those up, the teeth will fit into the door easily. So once you've got that aligned, you've got the door on, you slide down, make sure you hear a click at the bottom and that the door is on all the way. Look at the back, make sure the door is flush up against the shelter, the back of the shelter, and the door is down all the way so it seals, seals the uh, shelter and keeps water out. And that is how you replace your temperature humidity module.